The highest base crit chance melee in the entire game is the Argon Axe at 30%. But what if I told you the peg legs you get from Blakebeard Stash actually have a base crit chance of 43%? Have you actually ever looked at the perks on these things? Don't worry, I got you. I made a whole video on the best perks for the peg leg. And if you look at the stats for this weapon, it actually has a 43% chance to crit. Now, that is not from crit rating perks. In fact, flashbang warning, if you guys look at this list right here, you can see that crit rating here on the left Left and crit chance on the right has a diminishing returns relationship where the higher the crit rating gets the lower the crit chance which means the weapon has a flat 43% which means if you have totally rocking out active which is a full 160 giving you 57% chance to crit you can actually get a 100% crit chance peg leg I can show you right now this is probably from later in the video where we achieved it it is really really funny granted that is only active for like a fraction of a second you are never running around with a true 100% crit chance apologies for the alerts by the way I do record these on stream I don't have my overlay because of a new recording setup let me know what you think about that comment down below but twitch link down below if you have ever want to see these live so this is the build that we're running with all right we got deadly blade crash in the lead because who else we are going to have a near 100% chance to crit even when it's fading it's going to be in the 80s and 90s percent it's almost guaranteed that her commander perk will apply snare affliction to every target we hit and our whole build is around that so this is how you make this possible i need to run totally rocking out as the user and then a teammate will run blakebeard stash drop me all the peg legs and i will activate it with either sub wafers and or battle beat i'm gonna just have to put down a few traps or go on a murder spree to get the totally rocking out active more often and then saurian hide is kind of a surprise pick because when you're running melee builds you will almost never have any shields whatsoever and her 33 armor will kick in and be a very very good help I've used her on stream, not in videos lately, and it's been really, really nice to have in support. And then the only club damage hero in the entire game is Privateer Hype. I don't want to run her in the lead because I tested this loadout before, and commander leads are really annoying. They're clunky. They can't double jump. The abilities are not useful, and 50% club damage really is not that much when you're trying to get crit damage. 17% support is just fine. It's just not very synergistic with actually using a club. And then Monster Smash, of course, just to get some healing off of it. So yeah, let's try out this gimmicky build and uh, see how it actually performs. All right, we are in business. We got some peg legs. We got some wafers. Let's go on a murder spree. So a few things to note before we get started here. First off, if you supercharge your commander, you can get 144 peg legs. It shouldn't be a big deal here though i also need to be the one running totally rocking out i cannot have the peg legs as i'm clicking uh, right click right now you cannot throw you cannot throw cell wafers you can't drop them to teammates the game just does not support it and because of uh you can't drop stuff in ventures you cannot run this build in ventures either so those are three disclaimers all at once here let's box in and see it so when we open up the menu we can see 43 percent let's eat a wafer and 100 percent chance to crit isn't it just beautiful now now, if I just check a short time later, we're all the way down to the 70s. So it's not exactly constantly active, but let's just trigger this encampment, little baby encampment, and just enjoy how much damage this outputs. Because we're going to be guaranteed critic. Look at that. Half a million damage. Like, it's nothing. The enemy is not even sure where I am. 400,000 damage. He's dead. And then, of course, if we actually crit, uh, <laughs> he's going to die over time just from uh, deadly, deadly crash. And then, of course... Taking damage is uh, really easy in an encampment like this. Uh, activate Toy Rocket Out can heal me a little bit, but it doesn't seem like I'm outputting enough damage to actually stay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Arlene Iza is coming to play. She's keeping me alive. I'm surviving. I'm surviving the encampment. I did it. Oh, man. This thing is hitting really, really hard. Let's see if we can get some, uh, some other big targets. Oh, perfect. Exactly the kind of enemy I want to test on. Annihilating a crow. Just like it's nothing. All right, we got a very angry blaster. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I expected. Uh, not so good versus the single targets when they fan out, so I'm going to keep monster hunting. There we go. We got a taker here. A very, very confused taker. Oh, God. Oh, I missed it. I fumbled. I fumbled. It doesn't even matter. All right. The defense begins. So we got some basic tunnels here. Got a couple of too long right here, and then I've got a nice little zap chamber here as well. Let's go into this crowd and just enjoy this damage. So... 
Spawn killing probably would be better for farming Toy Rock and Owl, but look at that damage. Like, the peg leg is an unironically strong weapon. Like, I'm not using this as a joke video. I mean, obviously, I wanted to showcase the 100% crit chance part of this, but the peg legs are actually good. Anybody who's used Blakebeard Stash in Ventures would probably know, and I imagine most of you have used Blakebeard Stash. If you haven't, I recommend it, because Blakebeard Stash is super consistent in Ventures. It doesn't require you to get lucky weapons from vending machines or anything like that. You don't need the Xenon bow, and you can activate with a team perk and it does really good damage it scales to the maximum power level that it can be for the mission it goes off of your commander which was probably over the mission like if you're starting ventures at level one even if you're not a high level player even if you're in like the 40s 50s 60s you're probably going to have a power level what is it 19 or something a uh, peg like it'll be the max damage that it can be first thing in ventures so you're starting off with a really strong melee that scales as you play through the game it'll scale higher and higher and as somebody with a 130 commander or 144 commander, I would know that like the peg leg will just follow you all the way to the end game. You can run Blakebeard Stash the whole time. And I'm not even talking about cannonballs or coconuts either. The whole team perk is, is really, really, really strong. So I know that a lot of people have favored it greatly. And the fact that you can technically use Totally Rockin' Out with it is uh, really, really fun. It requires teammate support. I really thank these guys. Uh, I am breaking a lot of peg legs. So if you guys find any and want to drop them, I appreciate it because I am going to need a restock. Oh, the hookup coming in. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Okay, so I heard flingers before. It looks like it's changing directions. Maybe we'll get some big targets. Oh, my zap chamber's doing well. I know this is kind of a peg leg showcase, but it's satisfying when a tunnel works. I know that these guys kind of walked right by it, but when I'm showcasing a weapon, I don't really want the traps to do 100% of the killing. I do want to leave a little bit of opportunity for me to do something, and this is exactly what I was looking for. So, versus a big health target like a smasher, it's probably really key to uh, take advantage of the uh the corrosive strikes you can see that extra damage is going to chip away and do less than i expected to be honest i thought uh corrosive strikes uh, yeah a little ben's war cry from the stream twitching down below i was thinking corrosive strikes would carry a bit harder there but not so much oh yeah totally rocking out active boom 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 i'm actually personally curious i want to try something right now how low does it get we're down to 43 percent crit chance with totally rocking out active 96 percent because it just reactivated jigglypuff because stream chat realized that i got my alerts unmuted <laughs> yeah yeah, we're all the way down to 64%, but the floor, the floor is a 43% chance to crit. The only time I see better than that is on like uh, the Sound Spectre or the, the Wraith or the Whisper 45, the three weapons in the game that are ranged weapons with a 20% chance to crit. I guess the Storm King's Onslaught is another exception where it has a 25% chance to crit, but those are the four exceptions in the entire game for ranged weapons that have a base like chance to crit with a critting perk, I should say. A chance to crit that's higher than like 43 this is incredibly high. That point that I was making is all of those weapons sit at 48 or with the onslaught 53% uh, chance to crit, but those all need a crit rating perk. So this weapon without crit rating is already doing 43. So we are getting the most you can get out of Toy Rock and Out. You cannot crit more than every single hit. The only thing more than that is like hitting an enemy twice. Could you imagine if you had like 138% chance to crit? Link to that video down below. But then it hit an enemy twice. Like you critted so hard that you did more than you were normally supposed to that's not how how that works like if you're guaranteed to crit you just crit once <laughs> it's not that broken but that was a real thing we were using totally rocking out and uh first shot rio i think that was a mistake on my end when i was trying to figure out those black metal boom builds uh recent video on the channel by the way linked that down below just covered it again with a fancy new loadout suggested by a viewer so if you guys ever have something you want me to try comment down below because i might just check it out in fact the whole black metal series was inspired by that so um yeah comment down below if you guys have any fun ideas because i love seeing what you guys have in mind but my point is i was trying out that build and i ended up with a situation where i had a 138% chance to crit. And uh, other than that, this is like the highest chance to crit I've ever seen in Fortnite. Like 100% is as high as you can get. So the fact that we are taking full advantage of Toy Rockin' Out, boosting this already powerful weapon past where it normally goes, making sure we are taking advantage of that. You know, I've been talking about crit chance this whole time, disregarding the fact that we are doing 320% extra. That's insane. This weapon's hitting like a truck and uh, the durability is abysmal. So I'm gonna need to resupply
why, thank goodness, I have some very supportive teammates. It's also round 10, so there should be a mini boss right here. I hope it's not trap vulnerable, because that's the only thing that I won't be able to hit. It looks like it's taking some good damage, but this is a pretty rough tunnel. Let's see what we got here. Trap vulnerable? Come on, man! That's the one enemy I wanted to work on. I mean, I've been making pretty quick work of these smashers, and you can see the crowd clearing is pretty insane on this. So let's just pretend like I was shredding this mini boss. Oh my god, wow! 21,000 damage, more like 2.1 million per crit. That's not even possible. Did you really just do a discharger at a mini boss? <laughs> yeah, trap vulnerable takes heavily reduced damage from everything. Uh, that looked like a 95% reduction because I've been critting for over 500,000. So if I'm doing 21,000, that's. Um, that's five percent of that right something like that maybe i could do the math in the edit but either way trap vulnerable mini boss super unlucky but regardless this weapon is super satisfying it's not really a build that i can genuinely like recommend to the viewers as it does require a teammate but hey if you and a friend are looking to have a fun time this is a build you can absolutely try in fact blakebeard stash is really satisfying in like storm shield defenses so if you're doing storm shield defenses and you got some time to kill as the waves go on and on and on and you want a friend of yours to have some fun with you make them uh, make them run peg legs and have them have them okay don't make anybody do anything but you know what i mean what i'm trying to say is uh, have them drop you some peg legs and uh throw on toy rocket outbuild and do exactly what you see here it's actually pretty satisfying every time i see the team perk activated i get a little excited thinking okay yes we're gonna be critting super hard look at that seven hundred thousand on the residual was that corrosive strikes i think it was stacking together that was a lot of extra damage like the 1.2 million in an incredibly brief amount of time all right we're gonna go flinger hunting now let's see activate that with the wafers and woo! <laughs> it died so fast. It died so fast. The one thing I don't like about Corrosive Strikes is that she requires you to crit, which means typically when you've crit with a weapon like that, the enemy is basically already dead. However, as I'm discussing why I don't like the hero, a taker gets bumped out of range, and then I ended up uh, watching it die when it was out of range anyway. Now, I know I'm here to talk about the peg leg, but did you know that the Ravager is kind of like an insane weapon? Um, yeah. This is a really good setup too, because this is my energy copy. This is either my triple crit damage build or my regular crit build yeah triple crit damage so if you guys haven't seen the ravager triple crit damage video link to that down below it's kind of insane shocking i know i know but uh, i'm gonna head over to the defense here and and see if i can snag some last peg legs before the mission ends uh we got about 30 seconds left in the game well regardless thank you so much to my teammates for helping me out thank you so much to the viewers for watching i don't know if this was a suggested video i think i i think I figured this one out on my own, but I don't really steal credit. So if, if somebody actually suggested this and I forgot, leave a comment down below. I know I tested this build out months and months ago, and I'm only just now getting around to recording it. So regardless, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. <gasps> Go get some ice cream. <laughs>